So if you're on Amazon, you're trying to find the best space heater, this is how you got to go about it. I mean, I bought all this. This is after three to four years of trying out their stuff that I can really honestly tell you that these are some of the best space suitors in the business. Because these are things that a lot of people are missing out on. If you have a better understanding about what to look for, then you might do a better job picking a heater that's going to last with you for a very long time, heat your room very quickly, and probably most importantly for everyone, not just being hot, but being quiet and being safe. So these are the three criteria that we judge all space heaters against. How hot does it get? How long can it maintain its heat? That means is it going to be efficient and how quiet, how usable, how comfortable is it to use inside of your home? Because there might be a great space heater, but if it's too bright, well, then it's like having a nightlight in your room. And if you want to sleep in the dark, there's so many different criteria you got to consider. Here, these are PTC heaters. That means they're heating up in about two seconds. An infrared heater takes about like six to seven seconds to heat up. Let's look at the perennial number one bestseller of all space heaters that we want to give you as a baseline. This is the Give Best. This is a 1500 watt space heater. That means it can use and draw 1500 watts. It doesn't mean it's producing 1500 watts of heat. It is gonna have multiple speeds. Each one of these settings, if you have one or two speeds here, like on this unit, that means on one, it's probably gonna be 700 or 900 watt. And then on the max heat, it's gonna be 1500. These units can also be used as a regular fan. You don't have to use it as a predominantly heating or a space heater. The drawbacks of these units is that, well, build quality is kind of, you know, it's the build quality is gonna feel like it costs $20. And the fan inside of it is gonna be noisier. So this is not gonna be the most current tech. It doesn't have the best safety features. However, if you are cold, you plug this into the wall, you turn it on, it's gonna make the room warm. Realistically, this is great for a bedroom and it is very cost effective. Let's say I wanna go next step up. So this is the Atom 316. What the difference between the Atom 316 and something like the Atom 1 or something like your rudimentary give best here is that this is coming with a metal grill. It comes with a display up top. It has buttons here, also comes with an auto mode. It will not oscillate. But the secret of the Dreo is that the tower fan, or at least the fan inside of here, is going to be quieter, it's going to be more efficient, it produces heat more efficiently, and it has an upgraded temperature sensor, something that your standard units will not be able to do. You can't just set it and forget it on the temperature. It has an easy to use handle and it looks very good. So this is, has a ton of heat output, but the secret here is that because Dreo is a tower fan manufacturer, you're gonna notice that it's very quiet and the airflow is very direct. So it's a very directional airflow. It has three modes. So if we turn it on and it has a nice little display here and I have this, you don't see anything there because that is on fan. So if I press the mode button here, that's on H1. H1 is mode one. Mode one, it just means it's on low. Now I can put this on mode two, mode three. Mode three is on high. You guys see right there, that's on high. This is on the max. Now it will put out heat within the first second of it being on. And if you're wondering, it's only been about like 10, 10 seconds maybe. So this is a temperature reader. All right, so right in the center, you are looking at 200 and 55 right 255 that's about two feet away now if i do this and you are so about arm's length away you're looking at what what is that 170 170 then you have a different mode which can just be on auto mode so auto mode you can set this from it's getting too hot for me sorry guys so there's a handle here. Let me hold it this way more comfortably. But on auto mode, you can set the temperature from 41 all the way to 95 degrees and it will turn itself off if it's too hot and it will turn itself on if it's too cold. This has a dedicated thermal sensor built in. So that dedicated thermal sensor also has a accurate readout of the temperature. So it's not just like some type of random sensor here. It's actually something that's built in that's gonna accurately detect the temperature. We tried this, it has a nice metal cover in the front, right? It's a nice metal cover. So overall, I think this Dreo is really one of the best space heaters you can find. It works, it heats up fast, it heats up hot, and it is built for your safety in mind and also 
for making your home look good. So this is really well built. I like this space heater. The next lap is going to be on the Atom 1. <clears throat> so this is the Atom, and this is the Atom 316. So the Atom 1 line, there's also the bathroom series. There's a few versions of the Atom. But what the Atom is, is it's basically the, very similar to the 316. Very efficient, quiet. It has the auto mode. But this can now oscillate. It cannot only just oscillate. You can open up the back and then have full access to cleaning out the cover. And then you have full access to cleaning out the fan. So the longevity of your Atom is going to be very good. I've had my Atom for quite a long time. I think we have one Atom for over three years. This is the version that we use in our bathroom. It has the sensor, it has a motion sensor, it even has temperature sensors. But depending on which version you're getting, it just comes down to which safety features you necessarily need. Some of them have upgraded safety plugs. Some of them are made from uh, more fire retarded material. But overall, the Atom has always been and has continuously been a classic choice, especially on Amazon. It is reasonably priced. You get this on sale for about $40 and is really hard to beat. The 316, you're really looking this when it's on sale for about $32. Um, and the Atoms, you're getting them somewhere between 40 to 50, depending on the features. This radio is coming with some new buttons. It's coming with sound off, so you can turn the beeper on and off. You have your temperature, you have your modes, your oscillation, your timer. This is gonna be your motion button and you have your power. Remember, every time you press the power button, and your unit is on, it will start a 30 second cooldown to turn off. Feature of the Sense will be the sensor. So it has a motion sensor that has a range of six and a half feet, and it's gonna have a coverage area about 60 degrees in front of it. And that means not only can you adjust the temperature, as long as you're in front of the machine or in the vicinity moving, it's gonna be kept on. So this is the Solaris Slim. Now you're gonna see it in the silver colorway or the gold colorway. Not a huge difference there, just a color difference. Uh, the ha they have like a longer heating coil here. So this is gonna be very efficient, quiet. It blows outward. Inside uses the tower fan technology from Dreo. 70 degree oscillation. It is just a little bit noisier than on the regular Solaris or the ad regular Atoms. About about like two or three decibels. So still whisper quiet on the lowest setting as the auto mode. Looks very good. Just imagine a bigger Atom so the Dreo comes with a remote control and is rubberized. It's also the standard remote that you're going to get on basically all the Dreos. And I like how it works because everything is super easy. It's very quiet. It's made of flame retardant materials. Everything you need to know is going to be inside this manual. And honestly, you just don't need to know much to use this heater properly because it oscillates, because it's tall. And I do got to say a lot of people compliment me on the looks of this space heater. It's a good value because how many space heaters can you get that work well that also look good? So we're going to do a heat test so you can see exactly how hot it gets when you use it because on the low setting, it gets to about 160 and on the high setting, you'll get to about 200. The heating is going to be even warmer as you get closer where it's going to top out around 250. So what the Solaris 317 as well as the Solaris Max is that the build quality on the Max and the Solaris 317 is higher. It's better. You have a brush metal look. It has um, it definitely has more weight to it. You have a 200% more efficient heating coil. The fan inside looks about the same. It sounds just about the same as the Atom. So very quiet here. It is still relatively easy to open and clean. But the build quality here is better on the 317. It comes with an eco mode, fan mode, three different uh, heat modes. So you can use this as a regular fan as well as a heater. The Solaris 317 costs about like $55 to $60. Now you're going to see this and say, what's the difference between something like this and a different 1500 watt heater? Not much. The 1500 watt limits how much heat this can actually produce but it has double the range because of how Dreo has re-engineered their motor here. So their turbine and motor is gonna be more powerful. So this can actually blow farther, about 200% farther than even Dreo's own space heater. So we're gonna turn it on. You can see that there is going to be a display here and that's gonna read out your overall power level. Now there's different modes. If I wanna switch the mode, I can switch it H1, H2, H3 is the intensity in terms of manual mode. This is gonna be just fan. That means there's no heat. Auto mode now, you just have to press the eco button. So if you press the buttons up here, just change the... 
That's just gonna change the temperature. So you can set this all the way down to about 41 or as high as 95. So auto mode is great because it's gonna be able to use less electricity, turn itself on and off on its own. And that's a really cool feature on these Dreos. These come with the auto mode, they work well. The PTC heating ceramic heater, it, it like, it's really hot right now. So I'm gonna do a little test for you guys. So, so we're about five feet away. Five feet away it is, so yeah, it's 150, 147. Now I wanna also turn this on high. So we're gonna turn this on high. So this is on high. Let's see that. Let me, I'm gonna be about three feet away. We are about 197 here, 197. And as we get closer, 240, 242. So if I'm this close, I am roasting, I'm roasting. This is on the lowest setting, on the lowest setting here. Am I still roasting? Yeah, I mean, I still feel it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break out any sweat. So a lot of heat, this has a lot of heat output because of how quiet it is. So let's be honest, you, can you guys hear it? This is on the lowest setting. Can you guys hear it? It is so hot and it is blowing at 220, 200, 220 degrees. This is 220 degrees right now. So, so hot, it works, it looks good. Now, this is actually one of my favorite new space heaters. So this is the Solaris, this is the Atom 1. Atom 1 has multiple variations, but basically it's this kind of cylindrical box design. And you have the new ones that do not oscillate, but have the same heat output as the Atom 1 and the Solaris. So I can tell you guys the Solaris will have the best build quality. We're also gonna show you in terms of oscillation. It also moves quickly. Yeah, I mean, really, it moves, it glides. I, I would say the oscillation here has the most gliding-like effect. And I don't know if that's because they changed the motor or anything or how it oscillates. It's very smooth, very reasonably priced if you want to get more safety features and a higher premium look, aesthetic. We got something like the Solaris Max. The Solaris Max is going to be the larger version of that Solaris where it's going to be higher trim. It's going to be more quiet. It's going to be very efficient. It's going to have better build quality. And basically, it is their best looking higher trim space heater that Dreo is producing. Just to put it out there for everybody, if you're trying to compare like a Dreo here, which is going to be about $70 to $80 today on sale, and you compare it to like a Dyson Hot Cool, careful, these are called the HP 07s. You can get a hot and cool. There's a different versions of it. But the secret of the Dyson Tower Fan is nothing different from any of these base heaters. They have a heating mechanism or a heating coil inside the base. There is a fan inside of here, suction fan, that's gonna draw air, run it through the heating coil and blow it out through the bladeless technology up top. Nothing's fancy. That is the same as having a heating element that you see here. There's a fan behind it. It blows outward. It's hot air. It heats up the air. Same technology as the Dyson, but much deeper, much more cost effective if you're trying to decide between a Dyson hot cool and a Dreo. I think if you're just get looking for heat, you'll notice that the Dreo is gonna definitely beat it and have better output for the price. I like it. It's also gonna be quieter, which is strange when you think about this being bladeless. The Dreo, because they have such good tower fans, is still quieter for the same amount of output as the Dyson. So in conclusion, a space heater can save you money, especially if you have a big house and you have central air. If you want to save money, just heat the room you're in, especially if you just live one, two, three people, because instead of having to heat up 3,000 square feet, just heat up 500, 1,000. It's going to be way more efficient in terms of your wallet. That's how I live, guys. And uh, I can, you know, heating, heating bills are expensive. Heating bills are expensive. This is how far space heaters have come. They're better than ever. I really enjoy using mine. So if you have any questions, please leave them in that comment box below. And, and please hit that like and subscribe button below because it really does help support our channel. And I'll catch you next time. This is David with the French Glow signing off. Bye, bye, bye.